Eastern hemlock, an ecologically foundational species of the Southern Appalachian Mountains, is now in severe decline as this treasured species continues to die from the invasion of the hemlock woolly adelgid. Throughout its range, many agencies and organizations are actively conserving key populations of hemlocks through chemical and biological controls. These efforts are showing some success in small-scale conservation initiatives, but foresters are still working on how to keep hemlock in the landscape as the overall population declines. It is imperative that long-term hemlock restoration goals include both preserving natural diversity and also preserving local genotypes. Establishing seed orchards is one approach to generate an easy to collect, continuous supply of seed for the future, while also protecting the species variability needed to reforest in a variety of microclimates. Eastern hemlock is a slow growing tree, and so it is critical to begin establishing seed orchards now so that once scientists have identified a suitable control for hemlock woolly adelgid, there will be an ample and appropriate seed source available to the East Tennessee State Nursery. In the 1990s, foresters observed the rising pressure of this invasive insect spreading to the Southern Appalachians. Subsequently, in 1995, the Finch Prime Company provided initial funding to test different genetic seed sources of hemlock. The seeds came from trees ranging from Massachusetts and New York down to the Southern Appalachians. In a partnership with the Massachusetts Division of Forests and Parks, the U.S. Military Academy at West Point, and Finch Prime, the UT Tree Improvement Program established four plantings located in New York, Massachusetts, and Tennessee. The most southern planting, located on UT's Forest Resources, Ag Research, and Education Center in the Cumberland Mountains of Tennessee, was heavily weighted with collections from the Great Smoky Mountain National Park and other surrounding high elevation sites in the southern Appalachians. At the conclusion of the genetic conservation tests, the Tennessee planting was converted to a seed orchard to generate seed for high elevation restoration plantings in the southern Appalachian Mountains, a region that was hit hard by the adelgid. The trees reached reproductive maturity in the 2010s, so in 2022 the planting was thinned to only those trees suited for high elevation restoration. UT Tree Improvement has been expanding this orchard to meet the potential demand for a very large seed supply by recently planting more clones of the orchard trees, and there are plans to establish more orchards in the immediate future. To supply seeds for potential low elevation hemlock restoration in northeastern Tennessee, UT Tree Improvement recently planted seed orchards on Tennessee Valley Authority's Norris Reservation. Technicians created these orchards by rooting hemlock cuttings from wild hemlocks found in various northeastern Tennessee counties. After a few years of growth in containers, UT Tree Improvement planted these rooted cuttings as seed orchards. With successfully growing seed orchards already established, the next phase is to determine the best protocol for planting these seeds and growing competitive seedlings at the East Tennessee State Nursery. Through these seed orchards and nursery research, Tennessee will be ready to immediately start reforestation of locally adapted eastern hemlocks when conservation agencies have successful control of hemlock woolly adelgid, ensuring that the magnificent and valuable eastern hemlock is still growing in our forest ecosystems for decades to come.